Everyone has heard of Johnny Cash, the man dressed in black, one of the all-time greatest country singers in America. Um, I've been listening to Johnny Cash since I was about gay tall, and so have many other people in America. Um, today I'm going to inform you of uh, Cash's life before his musical career, uh, his musical career, and what he accomplished during his career. Um, even though Johnny Cash is a country legend, he was not always in that place. Um, beforehand, he was a fairly normal guy. He was born February 26, 1932, in uh, Kingsland, Arkansas. His father was a farmer. He grew up farming with his dad. Uh, he did this until he graduated high school. After uh, graduation, he moved to Michigan looking for work in the factories. Um, this, did, this did not last very long for Johnny Cash, though. Uh, he got fed up working in the factories and soon after joined the military. Uh, he, after he joined the military, he uh, got stationed in Germany. Uh, when he came back in 1954, he married his first wife, Vivian Liberto, and soon after he started his musical career, uh, auditioning for uh, several records, uh, trying to become a gospel singer. Uh, this, did, this didn't work out very well, it didn't sell very well, and no one would hire him. Soon after, about six months later, after his first audition, he auditioned as a country singer. Uh, this took off fairly quickly. His first song, Hey Porter, it didn't do very well but that didn't deter him. His second song reached the top 20 in the charts. His third, top 10. And his fourth, uh, one of his largest songs, I Walk the Line, hit number one, and it stayed there for 43 weeks. Um, after he recorded I Walk the Line, he became a very busy man. He was performing over 200 nights a year, uh, to keep up with his schedule, Johnny Cash became very dependent on narcotics, uh, mainly amphetamines and cocaine. Uh, this would be a long tradition for Johnny Cash. Throughout the 50s, he's, he kept this schedule 200 nights a year, uh, doing lines just to keep up. And In 1965, uh, Cash was caught with uh, amphetamines in his guitar case uh, crossing the border of Mexico. He didn't get a jail sentence, he was just let off with a fine. And uh, it all kind of just went down the hill from there in 1965. He suffered an almost fatal drug overdose uh, soon after his wife left him. Uh, his drug usage increased exponentially in 1965, and it continued like that. So did his tour schedule, it upped from 200 nights a year, which is already insane, to 300 nights a year. Um, Johnny Cash was getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, this can be personified by uh, Keith Richards, one of the guitarists in the Rolling Stones, in his documentary, uh, Under the Influence. The Rolling Stones were falling behind Johnny Cash's tour, and one night Keith Richards and the Rolling Stones got to their hotel room, and went up to their hotel room. It smelled like fresh paint, and they were very confused. So they went down to the front desk and they asked, why the hell does our room smell like fresh paint? And the desk lady told him, well, Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings were here last night and uh, they got very drunk and they painted the whole room orange. Curtains and all. The bed, the couch. Um, his career very much suffered from his drug use. Uh, it was becoming stagnant. Uh, he hadn't recorded anything for quite some time. And he was quickly being forgotten. Uh, all that changed in 1967. Uh, June Carter became a very big part of his life. Uh, she led him to sobriety and back to Christianity. Uh, in 1968, June Carter and Johnny Cash were married. Uh, this jump-started his career, and uh, he started recording again. He made a new group called The Highwayman with three other country stars. Uh, even though his life was filled with uh, drugs and partying. Uh, this is not all that Johnny Cash was. Uh, he often pushed for prison reform, uh, performing a nonprofit 
uh, concerts in prisons all over America, over 35 throughout his career. His most famous one was in Folsom Prison. Uh, this album, he actually recorded an album there. Sold over two million copies and jump-started his, it was one of the biggest parts of his career. Uh, he also won many awards. 1980, uh, at the age of 48, he's inducted into the Country Hall of Fame as the youngest country singer, youngest male country singer ever inducted. In 1995, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is one of the very few in both. And uh, even up until 2001, he was still recording music. He won a Grammy for uh, Best Male Vocal Country. And in uh, 2002, he won three country music awards for uh, his cover of Hurt. And he also won a Grammy for that song. Uh, in 2002, he was suffering from very poor health. He, complications in diabetes, just long drug usage was taking a toll on him. And uh, even though he was suffering through this, he was still recording music. In uh, 2003, his wife, June Carter, died. And uh, shortly after that, within six months, Johnny Cash was dead. Uh, Johnny Cash was a true country legend, uh, recording music from first day he got back from the military until the day he died, winning several awards and just being a country legend. Thank you. Nicely done. Yes. All right, Lee, you want to go get set up?